going to be an unusual one, but I think some of you are going to really enjoy this. Other ones, you might be scratching your heads. But in any event, what I'm doing with my guest, Charles Dubois, is explaining the accounting tautology of S equals I, which stands for savings equals investment. And I know that might sound obscure, but for those of you who are interested in the relationship between macroeconomics and the financial sector and trying to evaluate, for example, government and central bank policies and what impact may that have on the economy and your portfolio, this is something that it's important for you to at least understand the big picture on. All right. And what's really interesting here is that this is an area where there's a lot of confusion and a lot of talking past each other. And I'm still personally trying to get to the bottom of this. All right. So there's going to be an accompanying blog post at the Infinio website. If you go to the show notes page for you know this episode, again, this is going to be episode 94 you're listening to right now, then you can find the link to it. But in any event, I have Charles Dubois on and the, the backstory is just that he started emailing me at this point, I think more than two years ago, sort of challenging me slightly, but just sending me material, trying to say, Bob, when you're talking like to these MMT people, you're a little bit off here or there's something you're missing. And it took time, but eventually I realized, okay, at the very least, this perspective that Charles is sending me and talking about is worth addressing head on because yeah, I can't just keep say, no, 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 you guys are confused that there's something here. All right, so that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of. And last sort of caveat I'll say is because this is such a strange and obscure topic, I told Charles, let's not get too deep into it and start hashing out like where you and I disagree. Let's just sort of give the lay of the land to the listeners so they can understand the scope of this controversy. And then we defer to a future episode that I may have him back where we're going to get more into the weeds and explain like where I'm coming from or where he's coming from. But here, I'm just trying to have him on to just summarize, again, this big picture and what does it mean to say savings equals investment necessarily, All right, so that, that may surprise you if you're familiar with economic controversies. You may have thought that, oh, that's something economists argue about that maybe the market-friendly economists think that, don't worry, if people save a lot, then investment will respond and maybe the Keynesians think it won't. And, and that's what I'm saying, that that's the context I had going into this, but yet there is a school of thought that says, no, but if you just look at simple accounting relationships, then savings necessarily equals investment in every period. It's not even like in the long run or something. Okay. So that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of and then see what is the relationship between those accounting tautologist claims versus the more empirical theoretical economic claims. Okay. 